And um, from what we've heard, something about an air pressure issue, but, but to people at home, can you explain to us what that is and how much of an effect that has on the car and why are you standing here now having to start P10 tomorrow? Well, obviously the car was broken, so we couldn't uh, fire it up and go. So uh, we lost parts of Q2 and then Q3 completely. Um, we fairly quickly made the decision to change, um, but it's not so easy. We had to obviously take the bodywork off and it's not so easy to get there. The guys did everything they could, but we couldn't do it in time. So, Is it doubly painful when you see your teammate on pole when you know what the car potential the car has? Yes, obviously it's frustrating, but nothing you can do inside the car. You know, nobody's, uh, nobody's fault. For sure we need to understand what happened and make sure it doesn't happen again. But at that time, nobody's fault. As I said, we tried everything to fix it. I knew that if we fix it, most likely there will be one run, so I was uh, trying to, to focus solely on that, um, but it didn't happen. So at least um, as, much as, it is a, of a, as much of a pain it is, uh, it's also good to see that the car, the other car came through and obviously got pole. So uh, happy for the team, obviously not happy for <laughs> my side, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have a good day and a good race tomorrow.